What problems does lack of due process cause parents in child protective services proceedings? Like domestic violence, there's little doubt that by passing due process procedures, not to mention holding someone's children, creates pressures for guilty pleas by the innocent. The grand jury describes the likelihood that a charge will produce a plea to a lesser offense. Penalties for conviction are very high, and the cost of a defense, prohibitive. Numerous defense attorneys testify that they allow and even encourage their clients to plead to a minor charge, even when they're certain of the client's innocence, in order to facilitate reunification of the family. Here again, the better safe than sorry rationalization for these procedures isn't wholly plausible, since such practices may create more abuse than they present. The Children's Project of the American Civil Liberties Union reports that children in foster care are 10 times more likely to be maltreated while in the custody of the state than in their own homes. Similar findings of widespread abuse in foster care are well documented. In essence, standards of proof and due process protections should be strengthened to prevent harming innocent families. Simultaneously, preventing child abuse must remain a foremost priority. Pursuing this balance responsibly would serve both parents and children. The child welfare system has overreached in many cases, but with reforms can still fulfill its vital mission.